Calgary Chinook Scout Foundation, and we are Pledge Communications. Uh, so to give some background on our scenario, basically because they are a nonprofit industry, they are, or sorry, in the nonprofit industry, they are driven by donations. Um, and so they need to have a consi consistent um, income of donations coming to them, uh, which we think could also be supplemented by a <laughs> standard donor recognition program. Um, and so our audience of current donors, uh, we decided to break it down into um, two different groups. So our first group is kind of like the family man kind of person. So they are involved with the foundation because they probably have a child that is in Scouts. Um, and they have, um, they're far enough along in their life cycle that they do have the extra time and um, money to be able to give back. Um, a bit as well as they prefer email communication. Our second group of current donors um, are people who are even later in their life cycle. They have uh, more disposable income to be able to donate to uh, the foundation. And as well, they would have had some sort of uh, involvement with the with scouts at some point in their lives, either now that they have like grandchildren in it or they could have been scouts themselves when they're young children. Um, and so, Another uh, important aspect of them is the foundation receives a lot of donations through will planning and estate planning, so they would also be in that stage of their lives where they're thinking about that a lot and have probably noted scouts as somebody they would um, include in their wills. Okay, and so for our goals and objectives, we picked as our overall goal to increase donations to the CCSF, which is also a task management goal. Um, the objective that we were going for is an awareness goal, so I won't read that out, you guys can see that there. And our strategy um, overall is to have a proactive communication strategy specifically for newsworthy information, um, and that will lead into what our tactic is. Okay, so the tactic we decided to, to go with was creating a brand new website for the organization. Um, there is a website currently right now, but it's for the actual Calgary Council, and the foundation just has a little tab on there. So we think that by separating, um, branching off, um, it, would, it would help with awareness, it would help with um, just kind of getting their own messages out, being you know, individualistic. Um, so the tasks associated with that would be content. Um, so we'd have Meredith Pietri, which is our fund development manager. She would be, she's sort of the sole body that, that works for the organization. Uh, she'd be the fund development manager and she also does communication, so that would be her, her role to create the content. Um, she's got um, vast knowledge of the scouting experience, so she knows her, her organization inside out. She knows those emotional uh, appeals for, for funding for the students um, that would really like to participate. The budget, we're assuming, again, these are all guesstimates. Um, that you know would probably take her about 16 hours of her time, you know, over a week or a few days. Um, we're assuming she makes a certain salary. Again, total assumptions. So that cost would be about around 400, 350 dollars. The evaluation of that content would be: Did she cover all off all the information? Um, we'd obviously get her to have a second set of eyes to look at the content on that website. Um, then we had the design of the website. Uh, we would have this outsourced to graphic designers because we don't feel that she would have the, the right tools to make a very visually appealing um, website. And you know, right now they can get some affordable options for her. Um, so the strategy of getting the design outsourced would be, again, visually stimulating lots of pictures, showing the positive messages of the scouts. Um, the budget, we have no idea. We'd have to do further information on that, but we could get back to you. Um, <laughs> and there, there are a couple other uh, websites and other services she can use, like Elance, for instance. They operate um, both their in, like independent graphic designers that you can kind of contact and, uh, and give them a brief brief on what you want them to do, and then they can be able to come up with something back to you. And it's way cheaper than going to an actual graphic design firm because it's going to be way more expensive. Um, and so the evaluation of the that this design would be, does it pass usability testing? We'd want to have some feedback on the initial, to like do a little launch with just a few people, almost do a focus group or some sort of, um, just to see if it'll work um, for the organization. And if people like it. Um, the final thing of the task is the launch. Um, this would be very important because you, we've also, we have to outsource the graph to graphic designers and Meredith, she could have a say in what, what was on that website. Uh, we would promote the awareness through email, uh, personal contact and direct mail. So we'd make sure that uh, this information um, was reaching people, like so the donors would be emailed about the new website, so please come log on to this new website. Budget, again, would be to the same outsourced graphic designers, I'm not sure. 
um, and we'd evaluate this by website traffic with follow-up um, with our key audience members. And as Jordan had mentioned, it's a really great idea to follow up um, after launching something with certain people. So maybe we'd take a handful of donors and, and call them and, and find out if they really felt this was the best form. Um, and then finally, on the actual website, we have an embedded survey to see, you know, did, did this meet your needs? Did you feel like you got lots of information about the foundation? Um, you know, did you see the donor button? You know, all those sort of things. So, yeah. Um, so the timeline, we just um, decided to create, create like a final date and, do, and work back from that. So the, launch, the final launch day um, that we picked was February 1st. So it's just a little bit after Christmas. Um, it, everything's kind of winding down. There's a little bit of time for everybody to kind of regroup and get back into it. Um, design and approval would be done by January 23rd, so like it leaves about a week and a few days for content to be uploaded and final usability testing to be completed. And then the um, content would be written and edited by January 18th, so it kind of leaves um, quite a bit of room for Meredith to go back and tweak anything she needs to or add any more information, pictures, things like that. Okay, and that concludes yeah, just go back a slide for me. Um, 